Hi! My name is Dory, I'm a music therapist, and in my work, I use music to help people work towards their goals, work towards social goals, emotional goals, cognitive goals, physical goals, all kinds of goals, and we do that through playing instruments, through listening to music, through singing, through talking about music, um, and today, I want to talk to you about why listening to music is so great for you and one special way that I like to listen to music. So, let's start. What's so great about listening to music? Well, let me tell you that music is great at helping you improve your mood, making you feel better. Think about times when you've maybe not been feeling so good, you've been feeling stressed out or angry or sad. And you've put on a song, maybe it's your favorite song. Maybe it's just a song you know will make you feel better. And it's done just that, it's made you feel better. Like music is great for helping you feel better. Um, music also can help improve your focus whether you're working on focusing more because you get distracted easily and you can use music to help work on that or whether you just need to focus on something because your brain is feeling stressed out and you need to take your focus off of the stress and put it on something else music is a great thing to focus on so music is great for helping you focus um, music is also great for helping you relax your body. Think about times when you've used music to um, relax while you're doing yoga or movement, or who uses music to uh, go to sleep, or just if you're feeling a little stressed out and you need something to calm you down, listening to music to relax is great. Um, and I uh, also want to share, uh, when I was um, thinking about this and studying up for this video, I actually learned that listening to music, scientific studies show that listening to music can help reduce blood pressure, help with pain and reducing pain, and even help you sleep better. So listening to music is great for living a healthy lifestyle, being a healthy person. Um, so. I want to share with you one special way that I like to listen to music because of course there's all the ways you know we listen to music in the car we can listen to music with our headphones on and just like rock out um, we listen to music on the, you know speakers this is one special way that I want to share with you um, and that is music and art is doing art while listening to music um, so what I like to do is pick a song that does not have words, no words. Um, I like sometimes to pick some classical music or to pick an instrumental piece. And I really like, it doesn't have to have this, but I really like to pick music that changes over time. Um, that doesn't do the same thing, but maybe it gets louder and then softer, or it starts really slow and then it gets faster, or just has a totally, it starts like really scary and then calm, becomes calm at the end. I love music that changes over time, but really the most important thing I think is to pick a song that doesn't have words. Um, but if you pick a song with words, that is okay too. And then, and then get your drawing supplies, get your paper, get your pencils, your markers, your crayons, your paints, whatever you have, and start to draw. And draw whatever you feel like drawing. You can draw people, you can draw shapes, you can just draw squigglies. Whatever your body and your mind, your hands are feeling like drawing, let yourself draw to the music. Sometimes I'll put the music on it and I will draw until it stops and that's the end. I'll stop drawing and sometimes I'll let the music go on repeat and I'll put it on over and over and over again and I'll just draw until I feel like I'm done drawing and then I'll stop the music. And just doing this is a great way of relaxing, of 
getting those things that are in your mind, all that jumble up here, getting it out onto a piece of paper. Um, what can make this extra, extra special, extra good for your body and your brain is to really think about it. And either think about it by yourself, think about maybe, you know, what is this drawing, how does this drawing make me feel? If I could put a title, a name to this drawing that I did, what would I call it? Um, what do I see in it? Do I see people I know or a place? Um, or if you're with a group of people, it can be really fun and really interesting to all draw together to the same piece of music and then stop and share and talk about what do we have in common in our drawing? Do we all use the same color? Are we all drawing big pictures or small pictures? Are we all using, do we all have squares or circles? And then what's different? What's special about my picture? What's special about your picture? And that can be a really great conversation. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this and that you um, try it out. Try drawing while you're listening to music. Um, thanks for listening and bye.